Esteban Abarca is a truck driver in San Francisco, California. While there may not be anything remarkable about his occupation, his life is marked by almost constant pain. The pain I feel from PC from 1 to 10 is a 20. I feel like there's needles just shooting up my legs when I walk. I can't act like a normal person. I have to crawl to take a shower. I have to wear special orthotics. I have to do things that I don't like to do, like take medicine. I just try to be normal as much as I can, but the pain is just extreme. Esteban suffers from a rare disease that affects less than 5,000 people worldwide. It's called Pachyonychia congenita, or PC. This is an inherited skin disorder that's very rare. It's caused by mutations in, the, in genes that encode keratins. Keratins give structural integrity to your skin cells. So mutations lead to uh, thickened skin that often have very painful blisters as well. PC is caused by a mutation in just one of about 50 keratin genes, which affects the skin and nails. PC is not an infectious disease. It's not something you catch like the flu or like measles. It's something that's encoded in your DNA, so it's a genetic mutation. And it's a very small mutation that occurs in genes encoding for the keratin. It's something you've inherited from your parents or something that can occur spontaneously. While there is no treatment for PC, those living with the disease try to manage it as best they can. PC is managed in different ways, especially on a case-by-case -case basis for every patient. Every patient is different. For example, every, every patient has a different symptom. Some, some, are, some calluses are thicker than others. Some people have um, bigger problems with their nails than others, and so everybody has to manage their PC in the way that fits them best. So I trim my calluses on a regular basis with a double-edged razor blade, and um, but other people use different tools and things. We all use different kinds of shoes, different kinds of socks, whatever makes us most comfortable when we, just to try to figure out how to lessen the pain each day. The disease affects my life certainly every day. I, I wake up with pain and, and I go to sleep with pain. And, and the biggest thing is I just have to learn how, how to manage it, what, to make the decisions of what I'm going to do, what activities I can do, and, and to compromise, saying I might do whatever activity that involves a lot of walking, and then I'll compromise later by saying, you know, I, I, really, I really can't do this other fun activity with with my friends or with my family. PC affects my life in a lot of ways, uh, mostly pain, but in addition to that there's the social stigma of having something wrong with you, um, emotional and self-esteem. Those are the biggest areas where I feel sort of loneliness, but I do have people in my family that also have it, so it helps. Because the disease is so rare, many of those suffering with it have never met another person with PC. The opportunity to connect, share their experiences, and support one another empowers patients in managing both the physical and emotional challenges of PC. When I found the community, when I found others like me, it was like a big relief knowing that I wasn't alone, just knowing that there was other people like me. PC Project is an organization formed in 2004 with the mission of finding a cure for PC. PC Project sponsors the International PC Consortium to bring together researchers and clinicians in collaborative research efforts related to PC. One of these collaborators, a biotech firm in Santa Cruz, California, has research underway to develop treatments and hopefully find a cure for the disease. Previously we've developed technologies called sRNAs that we know can specifically inhibit mutated genes and not affect the normal wild type gene. So having this, we still need a way to deliver this effectively and to, to get at this problem, we've developed dissolvable microneedle arrays. And these are short protrusions on a plastic-like surface that penetrate into the skin and deliver their cargo. And we've recently completed a clean room here at Transderm, where we'll be able to manufacture these arrays under conditions that we can then evaluate them in patients. 
when you do have that support, knowing that there's scientists out there fighting for you, it, it means the world. Since 2004, PC Project has sponsored worldwide annual patient support meetings to give patients, their families, scientists, and physicians an opportunity to connect and share valuable information about the disease. When I finally went to a meeting and met other PCers, because that's what we call ourselves, it was like, um, oh my God, look at that. He has feet like me. And, and just having the confidence to show our feet, show our hands, and talking about how we deal with it just made me so empowered. PC Project also sponsors international research, which will lead to better understanding of PC and development and delivery of therapies to PC patients. Hackney Geek and Genetic Project is an international collaboration of physicians, scientists, patients, and others in the community who, who work together to find a cure for PC. As research into treatment and a possible cure for PC continues, Esteban and others suffering with PC worldwide are hopeful for an improved quality of life. To learn more about PC and how you can help find a cure, contact PC Project or visit pachyonychia.org.